Dragon Army Productions presents Gaming with Draggy the Little Dragon. Why, hello, hello there, everybody. Taking a break from Beast Quest for a little while. Yes, I know, you're probably disappointed, but hey, look, we got Elder Scrolls 3, Marwyn, going a little bit back in time for some retro stuff. I was, like, right around... 15, 16 years old when this came out and I first found found it. So, let's get into it. Each event is preceded by prophecy, but without the hero there is no event. Cool. In the waning years of the Third Era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Marwyn, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. Ooh. Kind of deep. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? All right, my name is Draki. The Little Dragon, of course. Of course I would put that in. Why wouldn't I? Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Yeah, they'll let me go. I don't Quiet. know about you. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. Yeah, it is. And what if I don't want to come with you? What if I want to kill you? Too bad I can't kill you. Would be nice. And we're going upstairs. We're just get yourself up on deck and we're just gonna ignore him. This is where they want you. Hello, Head down guard. to the dock and I'll show you to the You're census cool. office. You're not an ass. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Okay. From where? Argonian. Uh Black Swamp, I think. I, I don't know. I can't remember uh, what the what the homeland is. Uh, we're going female, and we're going just like that. Perfect. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. Yeah, okay. Cool. So, yeah. I always choose Argonian. Doesn't matter what or when. I never play any of the other races, because Argonian is the closest race to that of a dragon, so that's why I play Argonians. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Yeah, the choice is mine, isn't it? Create custom class. We're gonna name it Dragoon. And we're going to leave the combat specialization on. Okay. Strength and intelligence, we're going to leave that. We're going to leave block. Uh, we're going to change medium armor to long blade. Change blunt weapon to... Uh, let's see. Uh, restoration, I think. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put block on the um, minor scale. So we're going to put destruction in its place. So let's change that to medium armor to block. Okay, we are going to get mer mercantile. Yeah. Mercantile, I don't know how to pronounce that name word. 
Okay. We're going to get some speech craft. No. We're going to uh, opt for marksman. And we're going to leave the enchant. Because I like enchanting stuff. Okay. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Okay, there are lots of signs you can choose from. I personally like the tower. Gives you a uh, detect animal 200 feet for 60 seconds. That's a good minute. Detect enchantment. Detect key and tower key open 50 points on touch. I like that. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Of course it's all correct. I'm the one who input it. Now I have a stats menu. Show okay. your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release Take key. the identification papers. Just ignore the... Read the papers. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Continue through to the next building and talk with Salas Gravius. Oh, go through the door. Close it behind you. Because you don't want them seeing what you're about to do. We're going to take everything. We need it all. As my youngest son would say. And we're just taking everything. Sell it. Okay, blah blah blah. Take the paper, take the cup. Take the knife, or Flynn. Don't know what it does, don't care. And we just got a lot. Take the paper and the basket. Let's go into our inventory and equip the lock pick. Click F. Ooh, first time try. Nice, I like that. And we're gonna come in here. We're going to search everything. We're going to take everything we can to sell. Take it all. Take it all. How much stuff do you need? All of it. There was a broom in here too, but maybe I'm mistaken. All right, now that we got everything, yes, there's a bed roll in here you can sleep on. You don't have to spend uh, money at the end to get it. Okay, I don't think we we'll check the baskets. Yes, at all. Okay, there's nothing else out here other than this barrel. And you want to get the stuff in the barrel. Because it has a magic ring, you, you are going to give back to a particular someone. And we'll get to that here in a second. Okay. Uh, background. I am Celis Gravius, a knight errant of the Imperial Legion. Yes, you're in Marwyn. I don't know why you're here. Or why you were released from prison or shipped here. But your authorization comes directly from Imperial, Uriel, Septum, whatever that number is, B-I-I, himself. And I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man, woman in this case. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties, instructions from the Emperor. So pay careful attention. What an ass. This package came with news of your arrival. You are to take it, Cassius Cassatis, in the town of Balmora, 
Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Cassius Cassades. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dispersal to your name. Awesome. Okay, so we get directions to Cassius, package for Cassius, and 87 gold added to our inventory. Okay, so as much as I would like just to kill him and take everything, we're not going to do that just yet. I'll do that on the episode I jack around on, mess around. Okay, talk to Fargoth here. Are you the one that boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive at that time of day of the day. Help the Imperials, Juju, okay? I swear they took my ring. Actually, he's, he's, he's more of a weasel, so I, I'm probably getting his uh, voice wrong, but whatever. I swear one of the guards has it. I had last week before their weekly. Let's shake down Fargoth ritual and a grave healing ring. A family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Yes, I found it here. Take it. You're gonna get it back, okay? Don't worry. Just give it to him. You found it. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Ariel, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see it now. Okay. Do what so do I owe the honor, Argon. Argonian? Yeah, that's his voice. He's, he does sound like a weasel, but eh. I can't always get voices right when I'm narrating for them. Welcome to Ariel's Trade House. I bought it for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit. You want a little advice? That's free. That's all free. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions or our most popular scrolls? No, I just want to barter. Sell the shoes, keep the potions, keep the bread, keep the crab meat, sell the grave dust, or hide. Uh, just sell everything you possibly can. I'm just gonna sell everything. I know eggs will probably give you health, blah blah blah. Sell the next interest card. Who cares? It's useless. Permanent, sell it. Paper, sell it. Candlesticks, you can use those to light your way, but I can sell them anyway. sell our iron dagger. And we're going to try to get as much as we can out of this fool. So let's try 265. Nope, offers refused. Okay, we got 264 out of them, so that's good. Okay, we're going to go do apparel. Personally, I like heavy armor even though it limits your carrying what you can carry, but gives you the best defense at this particular point in time. Okay, so we'll get an Iron Curus, Iron Greaves, okay, you can't use the helmet, and we'll get Iron Gauntlets. Anything else? Okay, we'll get a Steel Shield, that's the best we can get. Actually, we probably could have went steel, but it costs a little more. Is it lighter? No, it is not. Does it have better armor rating? Yes, it does. Mmm. Now we'll see what we can do. We got mercantile, so. We're going to try to go for steel. Okay, does he have a steel cuirass? No, he does not. So we're going to have to go for iron. 
Okay, so we got mostly steel, one piece of iron. Okay, and let's lower our cost as much as we possibly can, because we got 383 gold. We don't want to spend it all because we have to buy a weapon yet. We're going to try to go down to 220. Nope, he refused it. Okay, he took it for 221. Okay, so we just paid him 221. We have to buy a weapon. Okay, so let's go to weapons. Iron dagger. No, we don't want iron dagger. Let's see, iron long sword. Actually, we probably could have kept that iron dagger and gotten this an iron saber back in the in in the yeah whatever the whatever that first cave you go into is called uh, Adam or Sardis or whatever. Anyways, there's one of these just laying in there, stuck in the ground next to a skeleton underwater. But, we are going to look what we got here. Okay, so we're short sword. No, we don't want that. Okay, we're just going to buy an iron longsword. And we're going to try to zoom down to 20. No, he refused. He refused again. Okay, still refusing. So just keep climbing until he accepts. No, 25 is not your cup of tea, huh? No, 26 is not. How about, no. Okay, still, still doesn't like it. No, he's being a, okay, he's, he's being hard, hard. He's playing hard to get, so. Okay, so we got our weapons and armor. Let's go back into barter and let's sell our crappy clothes. Let's try to get 10 gold out of them. No. Okay. Still refusing. Okay, he took our crappy clothes for four. So we're going to go goodbye. And we're going to equip our new stuff. And boom, we got a sword and shield. Awesome. Okay, Please, so we are going free. to talk, talk to Please, talk at your little. leisure. I'm going to talk to him again. I hate it when they speak over me. Okay, we are going to get Fireball. And that's all we're going to get for now. And we're going to tell him goodbye. And we're going to go see Hirshkar right here. Recover some gold. That's right, I had a bad run of luck playing Night Holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can't usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher far off. He's come up light the past couple of weeks. I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find far off hiding place. Of course we'll find it, because we'll get that healing, nice healing ring back. I'll do it. You tell him goodbye. <coughs> and basically, this is the easiest quest in the game. All you have to do is just stand out of Fargoth's line of sight and wait. What was that? Okay, so we're gonna wait. Let's try 15 hours. No, that's probably too much. We'll try 11. And boom. 
Okay, so what we're looking for here is Fargoth with a torch. Okay, he just... I think that was one of the guards lighting the torch. Lighting the torch. He should be coming out from over there by that tree somewhere. And going to that... Sneaking around, going to that stump. Okay, there's the little fetcher over there. I think. So, he's still not sneaking around as of yet. Okay, so we'll wait an extra hour. Should be seeing Fargo any moment now. Usually, I like to go to the top of the tower and wait. But it doesn't matter as long as you're out of his line of sight. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see. Okay. He's still not coming yet. So we'll wait another hour. Okay, so we're gonna go to the top of the tower and see what's up. See if we can get a better vantage point. Okay, here he comes. About time. Ooh, my arm just jumped. Jerked. I hurt. The little Fetcher sneaking around thinking he's all cool. But he's not. He's a little Fetcher. A little sneaky Fetcher. Okay, I hope. Okay, he's still sneaking around thinking he's all cool. He didn't see us, so that's good. Okay, he's stopping by the tree. Now he's heading towards a stump. And as soon as he leaves the stump, we'll go down. And we'll get the goods. Now, you can keep the gold, but I recommend you don't. Would be nice to have the extra gold. It's 300 gold in that stump. Okay, he's leaving the scene. We can go back to him. Just give it back. Just give it to her a scar. He'll give you 100 of it. And you're good to go. Because we are going to go to a cave and kill some bandits, rescue some slaves, and get some cool gear to sell. Cool loot, cool loot and gear to sell. Yes, we will. Call it tree stump, take it all. Get a green lockpick and 300 gold. And this does not hurt your standing with Fargoth doing this. Even though he's it, that's as far, far as you really need to associate with him. Fargoth's hiding place, yes. 300 gold has been removed from your inventory. 100 gold has been added. Okay, you found his hiding place. That's great. Tell you what. I'll give you 100 gold and you can keep anything else that you found in there. Thanks for your help. That's how I like it. Bold and direct. Come, I like you. How okay. are I'm waiting. And before we go, we are going to grab a bow. Actually, I think we'll get a bow for free in the mine, so... Actually, we're going to go ahead and grab a bow. 
And we're gonna grab 100 shit in here. Okay, he wants 109 for it. We're gonna try to do him down. I wanna say 90. I'm probably stretching my luck here. No, he refuses. Still refusing. Okay, come on, you tightwad. Give me this stuff for cheap. Come on. No, you wanna. Okay, he didn't give it to us for much cheaper, but that's okay. Every gold saved is a gold earned in my book. So let's leave. How much time do we have left? Oh. What do you know? We will have to hit the the next area next time. So we're gonna hit. We're gonna save. And we're gonna quit. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, this, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. You can find those links in the channel banner of my channel. Bottom right hand corner of it. And remember guys, this is Draggy, the little dragon signing out for now. And stay scaly. Da 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 da